50 house guests. Zorin Adamji is live for us tonight in Modesto. And Zorin, from what we understand, city officials are saying there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, unfortunately so, Eric, and these are not your average birds. And actually, I'm going to stand a little bit far from this tree so no accidents happen on live TV. But take a look at parts of this grass and parts of the road right in front of us, too. Some parts of it completely white. Now, unfortunately, residents in this area can't do much about this problem. Now, they'll come out at nighttime and they're noisy as heck. And they'll crap anywhere. Residents near Sylvan Elementary School in Modesto say that for a few months every year, dozens of black parents occupied this tree and terrorized them. They've chased my son, actually, who have been walking to school, and they've chased him, and so now he won't walk past here. What do they sound like? They talk, woo, woo, woo. They sound crazy. Some neighbors say the feathery tenants need to be evicted. They feast on fish from nearby waters and blanket those remains and their own on the ground. There was two of them in my backyard last week. My yard man was scared to go back there. He went to hit the doggone bird. That bird opened his mouth up like this, girl, like he could swallow it. As tempting as it may be to evict the birds, Fish and Wildlife says leave them alone. The black herons are a federally protected species under the Federal uh, Flyway Act. So under no circumstances can they be moved, disturbed, touched, anything else. The city says one resident has called to complain about the mess. Once the birds leave for the season, the city says they'll prune the trees and get rid of the nests. Now, some neighbors here say they feel like they live in a Hitchcock movie. And neighbors told us that the one person who did complain lived in that house right over there. They tell us that in the last three years, three different people have lived in that home. All right, Zorin in Modesto. Thanks, Zorin. A tree trimmer in the Bay Area is facing federal criminal charges.